looking at the cellular data section of your iPad now, this will only be there for you if you've got a 3G um, connection or a 3G enabled iPad. So if you don't have this, then it won't make any difference to you. Um, but it's important to go through some of the settings here. So cellular data is basically your um, your normal telephone connection usually can carry some sort of data um, at some sort of rate at some sort of um, option, just like you would on a computer. So, say on my iPad, I've got um, uh, this iPad. Actually, I've got a card in here where I pay Telstra one hundred and eighty dollars a year, and I get twelve gig of download. Now, um, that's for me as being a heavy iPad user. I've never actually used up my entire allowance. Um, so one of those things that I like to be able to do is just make sure that I don't have to worry about data transfers. But there's really important stuff here. Um, so in other words, if we look at data roaming for a start, it's the same as on a phone um, that you'll only be able to do um, a certain amount of data transferring or you know, access in Australia at a certain rate. Data roaming means if you're going overseas that it will use um, the, the other, car um, other car carriers like T-Mobile that their data um, and it will actually cost a significant amount. So normally um, per megabyte or something like when you prepay, it'll cost um, 94 cents a megabyte. Overseas, if you're gonna use your same Telstra data or your Australian data carrier, it'll probably cost five times that for, per, me per uh, megabyte. So your usage will go up and you'll run out very, very quickly. Um, coming down, APN settings are just carrier settings that um, it uses to communicate. After that, um, you've got stuff like hotspot. Now, we're going to go into hotspots in a minute, um, but this is where another um, part of it can be set. Really important under that, use cellular data for, this is um, to do with your um, syncing to your iCloud accounts and those sorts of stuff. And we'll talk about iCloud a bit more later. What it'll do is that you can specify whether you want to use up your normal prepaid data as part of your syncing process to transfer files, or you can just make sure that that only happens during Wi-Fi, so Wi-Fi being free. So if I was to turn off um, iCloud documents being synced while I'm on 3G, so I didn't have a Wi-Fi connection, then I could turn them on and off. At the moment, I don't ever use enough of my data, so I'm just leaving them all on. So in other words, I could sync um, to iTunes via 3G from anywhere in the world. Um, I could be, you know, communicate via FaceTime. Really important that that takes up a lot of your data. It's not like making a normal call, but we'll talk about FaceTime a bit later. Um, and reading lists and SIM pins and all this sort of stuff are set inside here. So what you can actually do is set up all of those sorts of things related to your prepaid and related to your 3G with inside. Um, the really important one is the cellular data, making sure that you've got to be happy if you turn them on and your data roaming, which should be a, something you're already aware of when you travel.